Let's talk about using the MMC or the Microsoft Management Console. Now I'm demoing this on a Windows 10 machine, but the same tool exists in Windows Server. So you can use the Microsoft Management Console on either one. Now, first thing to know about the MMC is that a lot of tools, a lot of our administrative tools are using the MMC automatically. I mean, that's what they're built around is the MMC. So if you go to your administrative tools, let's find our administrative tools. Here we go. So most of these tools here are using the administrative tools or the Microsoft Management Console. Let's go ahead and open up Computer Management here. And this is a very common one that we'll use on uh, Windows workstations. Now, this is a Microsoft Management Console with a computer management snap-in. So over here, you have the navigation pane and the details pane and then actions. And all these are is pre-configured MMC console or Microsoft Management Console uh, and they call them saved consoles. So if you're going to create your own, you can just type MMC in the search bar and run your MMC. And yes, we want to allow this to make changes to our system. Okay, so this is an empty MMC. Now, where this becomes useful is that we can now add in whatever snap-ins we want. And these snap-ins can be ones that we use in regular consoles or different ones. So let me go to File add remove snap in and then I'm going to pick a couple of snap ins let's take device manager and I want to add device manager to my console and then I'm going to take the disk manager as well and I'm going to add this now this is going to pop up one other thing some of these will allow you to connect to other computers so you get to choose which computer do you want to manage this computer or a different computer I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this one just so we can see what it looks like and hit OK all right, now over here in my navigation pane, I have both of my snap-ins. So my device manager, and if I click on that, I'll see my regular device manager. There we go. And under disk management, I can click on that and see my regular disk management tool. So I can add and remove different snap-ins to get whatever customized tool that I want. So when you see something talking about the MMC and then adding a snap-in, this is what they're talking about. And the great thing about this is it lets you customize your console for the types of tasks that you do on a regular basis. Let me go ahead and add one more here. Let me add a snap-in. And you're going to see some snap-ins in here that you may not have uh, administrative tools pre-built for. And remember, all the administrative tools are just a, or almost all of them, are just an MMC with a snap-in pre-saved. So let me go ahead and add certificates just for the fun of it. And I'm going to use it for the computer account. And hit next on this local computer. And finish. OK. And so now I just added another tool to it. Now, I don't have to rebuild this every single time. I can save my console. So I can go to File, Save As. And I can save this wherever I want. I'm going to put it on the desktop to make it easy to find. And I'm going to make it my management console. And hit Save. And then I'll go ahead and close that here. Now on my desktop, we now have a management console administrative tool. I double click on it. Yes, I want to allow it to load. And now it's going to load my console with all of my snap-ins pre-built. So the MMC, we use it all the time. Not a lot of people take advantage of creating custom MMC consoles, however. But if you want to, it can be very, very useful and help you uh, customize the way that you work with the system.